Hey guys, my name's Holly. This is going to be my first TTC vlog. Um, vlog, not sure, pretty sure it's vlog. Um, me and my boyfriend have been trying for about three months. And, of course, he thinks it's the end of the world because it should have happened by now. And he's convinced he has motility problems and everything else under the sun because, you know, he hasn't gotten me pregnant yet. Um, but I do need a little bit of support in this because I'm quickly finding out how crazy it can make you and depressed and all that other fun stuff when you see those BFNs at the end of the month when you're hoping and praying that you get that EFP, but overanalyzing every single twinge and symptom doesn't help either in my case. I think I'm a little bit of a hypochondriac if you ask me. But, I hear it's a pretty common thing when trying to conceive, so I'm not too worried about it. Of course, my boyfriend is. I think he's starting to think I'm a little bit crazy or whatnot. But, um, I feel like I need a little bit of support from him. Like, more support emotionally-wise. Because I do feel really down sometimes. Because I look at other people, you know, like in my family and that are all pregnant right now, or have had, just recently had kids, or, I know that's another common thing, is having all the other pregnancies, or family and friends, BFPs thrown in your face, it can't be fun, <laughs> but, uh, it does get you down pretty quick, and I just don't know, like, if he understands fully, like, the pain I feel when I see it, like, it just hurts so bad. And then to top it off, last month, I got, um, some clear blue plus pregnancy tests, the ones that the white tip changes to pink on the end, and they ended up coming out as false positives, so of course I was so ecstatic, I called my mom, I was like, I just got like, positives, or a little faint, but they were there, like, I could take pictures of them and see them, no problem, like, on my next one, I should post a picture of it, because it was just ridiculous, I just got so excited, and then I ended up going out the next day and buying, um, an early response, or a first response, early prediction, and it came out negative right away, I was like, oh my god, I'm so sure, like, it just broke my heart, and I don't know, like, when that was happening, if my boyfriend understood what I was going through either, because he kept saying, don't get too excited about it, and I want you to wait until it was verified with blood tests, but it did keep me a little bit grounded, you know, him keeping saying that, because I was always reminded of the other, like, false positives on the internet that I've seen and everything, so I did want to wait it out, but I had just never seen a positive pregnancy test in my hands before, I was just like, oh my god, it showed up, like, within the first minute, like, it was there, I was like, woohoo, I'm pregnant, but, no, it's pretty shitty, but, of course, I called and complained, and they said, oh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem right now that they're having with them, so they sent me out, um, I don't have it near me right now, it's like a coupon for a free digital one, it's like, okay, I just told you I'm unhappy with one of your products, and you're going to send me another one of your products, jeez, thanks, but, it is better than nothing. They said I probably won't be able to get my money back from the store I bought it at, so. Oh, well. But on Friday, I think I'm going to order some OPKs and stuff from earlypregnancytest.com and some pre-seed because TMI, I know, uh, throughout the month, I find most of the time my uh, CM is pretty thick and creamy, like it never, I've never had egg white CM, so I don't know if that's a problem, but I do notice around, like, the certain time of the month when I'm supposed to be ovulating, it does get a, like, 
that watery. I hear that's normal. So I'm going to buy some pre-seed though because I've heard lots of girls had luck with that. I wasn't sure about the Fertile CM supplement pill that you can buy. It's supposed to help you uh, get some egg white over a course of two months of taking it and you'll start producing it regularly when you're ovulating. But I gotta learn how to use a basal body temperature. So if any of you girls have any tips on that, I'm gonna be picking one of them up as well. And some OPKs. But yeah, so any tips or tricks, girls, I could use them. And I could really use some support right now and just some other girls who are going through the same thing, you know? Thanks guys.